Welcome back to another episode brought to you by Game Glitches. Right now we're going to take a look at H1Z1 and the hidden quest system within it. To obtain this quest, you have to first find yourself zombies. First, you need to locate your favorite mob within this game, a zombie. Then, you gotta murder it. And hope that it drops a little loot bag on the floor. Once you get lucky and it drops a loot bag on the floor, you can open it and you could also obtain a basic backpack and a bunch of other good stuff. But what you're looking for is a quest note. Now, let's take a look at the quest note. Once you have killed enough zombies, it took me a little while, you will obtain a worn letter. Now, once you obtain this letter, you can loot it or trade it to anybody. And now, take a look at the letter. And you will see that it tells you the loot under a radio tower on top of VP. There are different quest items that you can obtain within this game. And the different locations for them. For example, I already obtained two quest items. Each letter tells me to go to a different location to obtain loot. As you can see, the second letter that I obtain is telling me to go to the Ruby Lake. And the third letter I have, it tells me to go to the damn damn bridge. Hello buddy. And I gave him a piercing in a year. Two scrap cloth, not bad. So, now let's head to, to our damn damn bridge. The drop rate on items of the zombies seems to be about 1%. You have to kill about 100 zombies to obtain one quest letter. Not bad. Once you read the map, you have accepted the quest. You cannot trade this map or give it to anybody else, so you would have to go quickly to that location. Please note nobody else can take anything from that location because it's technically a quest item and it's a quest purely designated for the person who managed to loot it from the bag from which the zombie dropped. As you read in the letter it said under the damn damn bridge. Here is the bridge. Then you go under the bridge, well on the side of the bridge to be exact. Keep running forward, of course try to avoid the zombies, and voila, you have now discovered the cache. What you need to do now is you place the letter in here and then you close the cache. Once you open up your cache right away again, you will discover amazing things, for example a green camo backpack that can have capacity of 2000, a compass that will show your direction in top right corner, night vision goggles, ammo for your gun, the, basically barbecue beef st uh, sandwich that will restore you to full hung from hunger and everything And of course you have to be careful of our friends. Thank you all for tuning in to another episode brought to you by Game Glitches. And I want to give a special thanks to those who helped me to obtain and do this quest, such as Lauder, Felgrim, DJ Day 4, and Traumatic. I really appreciate their help and support in helping me to obtain this quest and let you guys uh, in on this little secret within this game. Thank you all for tuning in. Please click like, please click subscribe. Please check out my other videos and tutorials on H1Z1. I'm most definitely sure that they will help you to survive within this game. Thank you all and have a wonderful night.